Okay, Cashify, I get it. Look, it's like Samadhi. Uh, technical term usually denotes higher levels of concentrated meditation. Specifically, it's been described as a non-dualistic state of consciousness in which the consciousness of the experiencing subject becomes one with the experience object and in which the mind becomes still. Well, that's interesting. I do not believe the mind becomes still, but I've had a feeling, feeling of stillness. When you're at one, when you're in a, a river flowing downstream at a gentle pace, if you're in that river floating on it, you know, relaxing, I say on an inner tube, it feels still because you're moving perfectly with it. Okay, if you paddle around, you you're aware that the river is motion in, con in, in contrast to your own. Okay. Now, I've meditated a lot. I've always had my own idea and wanting to be my own person and, and incorporate Western ideas into meditation. And I always thought meditation is basically a relaxation. You know, breathing techniques, if, you, if you're if you angry, you can, or just excited or whatever, if you know, if your heart's beating or you, if you ever try to take a breath and it's like, <sighs> you know, you can always relax your breathing. And... Uh, you know, it helps change your, your state of mind. And this is true with, with kids, something you can teach kids and so on. So I have a very open idea of meditation where really as you try to calm your bodily periods, you know, so you, you, you get a flow. It's, you know, the, the traditional idea of meditation, you know, close your eyes, maybe you do a mantra, you can get your mind as blank as possible. Because when you put it blank, you get images, boom, boom, these images, and flash, 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 and then you start thinking about something else. You have to go, oh, wait. So it's a good practice. But that's sort of a beginner's thing, I think. Better is to meditate with your eyes open. So when I was crazy, and it, you know, uh, 18, you know, college years, 18 to 24, you know, I would go to the beach, and I would like to sit on the beach and meditate with my eyes open, a crowded, busy beach. You know, like Aptos, it's down south of Santa Cruz. And uh, just relax my vision so I'm not paying attention to what all the color shapes are. And the birds come this way, and the people come this way, and the noises go that way. And I found I could get just as meditative a state as seeking privacy and silence. And, but of course, you don't have blank space there. You have this flow of pattern. Okay. <clears throat> and you do not feel separate from it. What you're seeing presses right through you. It just presses right through you. It is you. You are it. I'm going to say that's at least similar to this feeling. Maybe I've not had it full, or you, you know, you think you have. I don't know how you'd know better at those ages than me. I just never would have called this. But I have a, you know, meditative experience like this as well. Um... So fine, uh, but you say that that's a be a sense of, of of just being. I mean, is of isness. Really, it's a flow. I mean, right? You, I would like to know what your experience was. It was totally. The, the blank version, the traditional version of this, or is it, is it a particular thing, or is it a way of feeling, and you can have different thoughts during it? Um, isn't it an opening of a door into a unified space? Did I get it totally wrong? My feeling of, of where everything I was seeing, the sounds and everything, was just flowing through me. You know, the ocean's like the only place I could really do this is because part of it is the sound of the waves. Just constantly, or maybe by other bodies of water. But, um, yeah, I don't see how that, that that's a being thing. And it seems to me, I mean, you, you talk a lot about wanting to go for truth, but come on, uh, you're going for power, man. If, you, if you're going for a system where you can fly and stuff, not that you'll use it that way, because that's a petty power, right? Like, once you have that power, you're like, that's the least of it, dude. I can do this other. Well, whatever. You're going for power. It's not the truth. I, I, I still think my system's going for truth. Whereas if I can never fly, which is what I believe, without, you know, mechanical help, um, then I'm glad to know that. I'm not like, 
life isn't worth living. You know, I'm like, yeah, life is really worth living. And what it turns out is that you have to embrace the material ways. Instead of going, but I can't fly. Oh, you can. Thank you, Wright Brothers. You know, I can't see my dead ancestors. Oh, th thank you, Polaroid. Um, so, anyway. Uh, yeah. That's about all I got to say for now. And I'll talk to you soon when I find out which of these windows has my recorder, and then I'll stop. That's all I'm trying to do.